What is going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K21 Next Gen My Career. So this is it. This is game eight for the Oklahoma Sooners. This could get interesting. Last two games, Junior has not played well. He's constantly been missing in close shots that should have been made. But before I jump into that, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. This series has done better than most of the series on my channel. There's just consistent views, a lot of you, a lot of new viewers, a lot of likes. Thank you guys so much. If you guys could just take a second, hit that like button. You know, that means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. You're the reason I do it. It's really just seeing the support is amazing. But regardless, let's get into this. We got Game 8 versus Oklahoma. Junior, pull your stick out of your butt. Let's get it. possession we control the outcome we are stronger we are smarter we are faster we are hungrier we play hard we play together we play to win tonight we etch our names in the history book fellas this is what legends are made of we play like family that's right right we play like family all right there it is family on three one two three family. Family. let's go man Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Junior walking out on that court, not holding his head high after those horrible, horrible performances in the last two games. He scored two point, 20 points each time, but what's the cost? Like, if you miss more shots than you're going to make, that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you score 40 points if you miss 40 points. But the fans have been dreaming about all season long. Oh, he's driving to the hoop. And a block. That's a block shot for Junior. What a start. Fletcher takes a shot. How are they missing shots? Come on, guys. We got to pick it up. It's the. I don't know if it's the. just something going on. Like, this is supposed to happen. But they've been missing so many shots in the past few games. But they're passing it well. Evans with the ball. Evans takes a three, and that's a missed shot. Still scoreless. And what a stage to play on the national championship. Both of these teams had some big wins and eked out some really close calls to get here. Well, it's been quite a remarkable journey for Junior and his team. He has stepped up in a Junior with the ball. Junior trying as hard as he's gonna drive to the hoop. Junior takes it. He missed another shot. That's an easy make. There's no reason he misses those shots. It's disgusting. Somebody bench that kid. Unfortunately, his mistake will not cause them to lose the lead. And he makes it. Two points. It's hard to believe that they're going to just continue to let Junior miss shots with no discipline. Sooners with the ball. Evans with the ball. And that's a defensive breakdown on Junior. Tie ball game. This is going to be a close game all the way through. No doubt. Junior dropped the ball. That's a shooting foul on Bailey. Junior at the at the line. Two shots for Junior. And he makes the first one. 3-2 Connecticut game. Junior with the second shot. And he will make that. That's four points for Junior. 4-2 for Oklahoma. For Connecticut, actually. Junior's going to try to play a little bit better defense. Fence it with a shot. And he makes it. Tie game. That was an actually excellent play right there. Letting Vincent get to the hoop. This team is improving and will continue to get their chance to win it all. Junior drives. Now here's Junior. Defense right on him. Junior takes a shot, and he will miss another shot that could easily get the Oklahoma the lead. Junior's gonna. Junior's really have gonna have to have a talk with the coach after this one. back to Evans. Now Barrett. Junior, one of their best in close shooters, and just constantly missing shots does not work. And that will be a miss. 
shot. Over to the wing. Junior with a clear drive to the hoop. And you make that six points on the game for Junior. Six four game. That was an excellent shot selection for Junior right there. Not allowing the man to get open. And good defense right there for Junior. Coming in with a with a good help. Still pass up to Junior. Junior outside. Junior with some fancy footwork there. Junior will pass it out. Nothing going there. And that's a three-point miss. That was an absolutely horrible shot right there. He was guarded. Did not need to take that three right there. That was an easy pass to Junior for a two. But that is okay. We're still 4-6 right now. We're hoping that the missed shot does not hurt him. That's a shooting foul on Thompson. Six minutes left in the half. And that's a that's one. Well, you get the feeling they are really building Connecticut I hope and he misses this one because their players are just absolutely playing like in the right direction. then they will miss that one Thompson has been pulled from the game but junior will run score they're up by three junior on number seven Oh, stolen. Fast break. Here they come. And he'll pass it up. And it's an assist. 10-5. Wow, what a fast break right there. Oh, quick movement there for Oklahoma. Oklahoma drives the hoop. And that's a block shot. And he will get another chance. Three-point lead for Oklahoma now. Connecticut. Porter with the ball. Porter to Junior. Porter will Junior, junior will drive. Junior will pass out. Porter passes junior. back to Junior. Junior with the drive. Junior with the shot. Junior misses again. Get that man off the court. Vincent looking for the ball. Norris with it. Norris driving. Norris is going to drive to the hoop. And that's a miss. Junior with it. Guarded by Vincent. Do not give Scott the ball. Junior jokingly before the game said the secret to winning this game is to not give Scott the ball. I'm going to be honest with you. This is, I'm going to play talk as an actual person now. Ju this is bull crap. My inside shot is way higher than, this sh than that. The fact that I'm missing constant shots is just getting on my nerves. Webb recovers it. Junior. Junior with the shot. Junior misses yet again. Can we call a timeout and get that get him me off the court, please? Because I literally need to be punished. This is horrible. That was an excellent wide open three point shot right there. The fact that he made that blows my mind. Don't, don't you dare, Scott. You're trash. Junior yet again misses. That's four in a row for Junior that he's missed. I can't watch this. I literally can't watch anymore. Oklahoma takes the lead because Junior cannot play basketball. Get him off the court. About time they called one. Pull me from the game, please. What's the point of spending money on in close shots if you're going to miss? I've missed four in a row. They pulled me. Thank the Lord. God damn, Junior. Wow, look, they pulled me from the game and we're winning. Eight points on the game. Just 
absolutely garbage. I hope you enjoy sitting there. College basketball. With the first half behind us, we are on to the second, where this year's champions will be decided. Oklahoma will enter the second half with the lead. Junior back in the game. They're going to give him another shot. Now Junior. He's Junior said he's going to play more calm. Out to Thompson. Thompson with the shot, and he makes it. 35-23, 12-point lead for Connecticut. It's an assist for Junior. Junior feeling good about that assist. Oh. Nine-point lead now. Junior missed another one. Five in a row missed for Junior. You gotta be joking. It's hard not to get angry right now. The three pointer off the mark. I'm afraid to take threes because I just can't hit. Out to Thompson. Junior. That's a shooting foul. Junior will have a chance to finally make some points on this one. The man needs discipline. It's hard to watch this. Nine points. I'm sure he's going to get an earful after this. I'm literally just going to have to play careful because I can't hit anything. Again, this is what I'm talking about. By I shouldn't have missed that shot right there. It's a ten-point game. In the tray. What? Seven point lead now only. Fletcher, I'm wide open. I've been open for a three for a hot second. Fletcher for three, and Fletcher will make that. It's a ten point game. Junior has just started passing it around. Junior's been trying to just stay away from the ball. He cannot perform, and it's starting to hurt. Junior with the ball. Junior with the drive. Junior will dunk it. Excellent steal for the two. 11-point lead. 12-point lead, actually, for the Connecticut Huskies. Junior's trying to turn it around. Second half could go way better. It usually does for Junior. He's always better in the second. Evans with the putback. I'm going to be honest with you. I spaced out right there. Fletcher with the shot. And he will make another one. Four assists for Junior on the game now. To be honest with you, playing a little bit differently has completely changed the game. I think working more on assist is going to help me out here. Yeah, you're not making a shot over me, boy. That's a block shot for Junior. Almost blocked two in a row. Junior with the three. And he'll make that. 14 points. Junior turning his second half around. The coach said something to him during halftime, and it really turned it around. Vincent will take the shot, and he'll make it. 11 points for the for Connecticut now. Scott up to Junior. Pass it out. Back to Junior. Over to Scott. Back to Scott. Thompson outside. To the inside. Junior with an open hoop, and he makes it 16 on the game. Wow, Junior has turned around the second half. It is fun to watch this guy when he's actually playing a good game. Here's Bailey. Seven points in the game. That's a three for Bailey. Junior with the shot contest, but he will make that shot. 
11 Skip points for points Connecticut lead. Heard. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Look, That's a shooting foul. Yeah, Junior yeah, makes it anyway. Bailey is about to be fouled out. Fourth personal foul on the game. Does not look like the Sooners will win this. They're just falling apart. Junior has turned his game around. Oklahoma driving it down the court. Back to Barrett. Wong shoots it. He makes it. Actually, a good shot right there for Wong. Junior with an open hoop. He does it. He's going to miss it. This is what I'm talking about. There's no reason that missed. Clear hoop right there. It's disgusting that the game does that. Wong sets the screen. Webb will get the rebound. Webb passes it to Junior. And that's a loose ball foul on Barrett. Ooh, they pulled me. Seven seconds left. We won the game. <laughs> we have won the game. 72 to 52. It's over. 20 point win for the our championship game. Junior performing horribly. Less than 20 points on the game. But I don't think he cares much. Shoot, pass it, pass it, pass it. Junior from deep. Oh, Junior trying to break 20, and it won't work. But the Huskies will win the game. Wow. This whole season, they've had one goal in mind, getting to this stage and showing the world that they have what it takes to be champions. Tonight, they did just that. This is a win that you wish could last forever. All the blood, sweat, tears, and equity they put in this year, resulting in the ultimate playoff. A championship game can wind up being the single biggest night of your career. And these guys can walk out proud knowing they didn't throw away their shot. And that concludes what has been a stellar season of college basketball, culminating in a terrific championship game. Thanks again for joining Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and myself for his son. See you next season. Good night. That definitely could have went the other way, 100%. Absolutely cannot be mad about this. You know, Junior came out just with absolute shooting, horrible shooting in the past three games. I honestly think that's my own fault. I think I'm playing too aggressive, and I need to calm down a little bit. So that could be on me. 
and it's fine. I'm not too concerned. But we won. Now comes my big decision. Do I play more or do I continue into the NBA? I think I might go straight to NBA. Um, we're 83 overall. I think we can do it. 3,400 fans. We'll level up fans again. That was a good game. That was an excellent game, although Junior had a lot of mistakes. The other team uh, really picked it up. The rest of the team really picked it up and really helped us with this victory. Now listen, selfishly, I want you back next season. But this whole program is behind you no matter what. So what's the Okay. Word? Will you be returning next season, or are you going to declare for the NBA draft? I'm going draft. We're going to draft. It's been tough for me, Coach. Had a lot of sleepless nights, but I know this is the right time to take the next step. So I'm going to declare for the draft. I'm happy for you, Junior. You've earned it. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. This university is eternally grateful. And we're behind you all the way. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time to go draft. <sighs> Why don't you get drafted? Is that funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, that's excuses. I don't know, you stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree. Try again. You were captain of your team. Conference player of the year. All, all nice defense. awards. Things I've earned. Things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda? I don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps. That's real. Think about those other things. What, what position do I play? You're a point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? And what about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers? The good dunkers you even see at the street games? I mean, is it explosive? A word they love to use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. And if I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. At least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. Whew, now most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. The suit shop? Mm-hmm. Messaging is everything. Okay, so is there a wrong choice here? There is. Think of it like a spectrum. One end, you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. Are you one of them or are you in the middle? What you decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. You all right. Me? We're suit shopping. Let's yeah. get it. You ready to oh, that's, it. that's copyright. That's copyright. I'm just going to talk over this. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Okay. Oof been good about avoiding copyrights let's continue that streak all right so now we get to choose our suit let's see what we got here let's go through them why are those pants so big i do not like that i'm trying to go with kind of like a black on black thing here what we got Ooh, go straight agent 47 on them Ooh, got bow ties. Okay, I see you. We are going to go. Man, we don't have anything really. I don't see anything good. Why is it all white shirts? Where's the gray shirt? Let's go. I'm going to go straight Agent 47 on him. Yeah, we're going to go straight Agent 47. Ooh, got some crop pants. That looks horrible, but it looks so much better than the baggy pants. Ooh, that looks so bad. We're just going to leave the dress blacks on. And that'll be our look. 
so it's hard these pants are bad <laughs> no good choices here because look at that Ooh, that looks horrible these choices are so much worse than the 2020 game or 2019 game so we're gonna continue finish it up that'll be our look beautiful choice we'll put this together and have it for you and let's copyright let's copyright let's copyright let's copyright 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 Unfortunately, we still have copyright music playing. All right, here we go. Copyright is done. See, I'll be here to support Harper on the day to day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on the name you're walking in. <laughs> it's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior. Hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming. Yo, she there. looks familiar yeah, as hell. Like, I don't know if that's an actual Thank actress you. playing her or not. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you. We have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long term. <laughs> we want to create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now, I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find a team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. maybe not the exact team I want to play for? Anything is possible. But it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Yeah. <sighs> That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that area <laughs> <That's> specifically, <okay. laughs> no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Yeah, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here. Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. <laughs> but it... It feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There's a little reality. Archie. He's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's mm -hmm. fee as a parachute. But for us... We need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? 
from our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. That's a tough choice. That definitely is a tough choice right there. Not one bit. Fine. Not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take, it's a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes. Yes, it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player. Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so Alex, use you got it. got your contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. Trust Julia. Uh, she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me Deals? Or ideas who deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These are big agencies, man. They, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. you want as if it were my own story fair he does have a good point fine if you want to walk away from all of that so be it's either her or me you choose man that's tough you learn more vc per deal but it'll take longer to get endorsements uh choosing harper will lessen the impact of negative teammate chemistry you'll earn more fans You'll earn less per deal, but you'll earn endorsements more quickly. Man. I don't know. He's got the good choices because I like Under Armour. I'm an Under Armour guy. I'm not a playground player. So I, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think I'm going to go with that one. Loyalty it means a lot to me, but and I gotta protect I'll myself. Get you a bigger shoe deal, all right? I'm, I'm working on a few things right now. I just can't trust. Yeah, but the shoe deal she has are already laid out, and if I don't take them, man, I'm just I'm throwing money away. Oh, and these big agencies, it'll be what have you done for me lately if you miss your draft projections. I would never do that to you, Julie. I wouldn't even consider that. Look, I just want you to reconsider, okay? Let's finish what we started. <laughs> Man, I just don't... I'm great at marketing playground players. I don't even know what that means. I, I still say... I still say Harper, man. More fans in the league. Sorry, Arch. I'm sorry, Arch. I feel bad. I feel horrible right now. Minus one fan. <laughs> it's Archie. I lost the fan. <laughs> no, they'll cut you the minute you're not making any money for them, right? Keep your eyes open, Junior. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Like I love Archie, bro, but he was kind of in this for the money. It's all he wanted. He didn't care about me. He just knew I was there for the money. I could bring him money, and that's all he cared about. So fuck that guy. Right now you are projected in the lottery. <laughs> the strategy is simple. Just hold your ground and don't lose it. Be conservative. Being a lottery pick isn't dummy proof. If you make mistakes in interviews or on the court, you can lose ground quickly. If you bomb your private workout and you can fall. Mm. Next up, team interviews. Mm. We've already set one up for you. So you should prepare. Here are some questions you can look at. Okay, so this is what they're gonna ask me? Those are the types of questions mm. they've asked in the past. It can change, you never know. All right, got it. Set up is simple. You walk in the room, interviewer fires away. I wish that I could just say to you, be yourself and everything will work out. You were a solid person, maybe it would, 
But you always have to keep in mind what they're looking for from the answers. Tangible characters. Fair enough. Come on. <laughs> You're gonna do great. Yes. Got it. All right. We are finally in the NBA draft. And that is going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to be working on the NBA draft. Possibly get drafted. I don't know how long it takes. Thank you guys so much for all of this. Um, again, that that last the last three games have been rough. Junior not been playing well. The constant missed shots have been hurting. It's hard to keep focus when you constantly miss shots. I understand that. But we will turn this around. Thank you guys so much. If you're still here, you guys are the best. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.